Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brayton and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and whatnot. And today I have a fun video. I was sent this box from a good friend, subscriber, fellow whatnot seller. I will have her YouTube and her whatnot um, store linked in my description. But Joanne over at Texas Cash, sent me a Goodwill Blue Box. That's right, guys. So my friend Joanne actually sent me a Goodwill Blue Box. Now, she's had this one for a minute. She said she bought this back in March 31st of 2021. And, um, yeah, so she sent me this Goodwill Blue Box just because she's like, you haven't opened one in a while go for it. Um, so yeah, if you don't know, I used to open the Goodwill blue boxes every single week. Every week I'd be opening up the Goodwill blue boxes. Um, where did this one come from? Cause that does matter. This one is coming from Fort Lauderdale. So this one is coming from Florida. I used to open up the Goodwill blue boxes every single week. Um, but then I stopped when the price increase went up like ten dollars and then um the boxes were just getting worse they they were bad so i can't wait to see what is in this bag like i said it has been a hot minute since i have opened one of these and let's get started this is my first goodwill blue box in well over a year so i'm excited First thing we're going to start off with is some cute Christmas earrings. Those are super cute. Like those. Save those for next year. Put this right here off to the side. Ooh, I like this. I like this boho thing. Hmm. Right. I guess it's really tangled. Okay, let's just dump some of this out. But yeah, this is my first Goodwill blue box in, like I said, well over a year. I'm super excited about it because I have been actually thinking about getting one. Um, but now I don't have to. I mean, I'll probably still do one eventually, guys. I will go out and buy one eventually. But for now, we can just, you know, settle for this. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. Okay. So this is a really pretty... Um, amethyst chip choker necklace, maybe it is broken, it does need a clasp. There's no clasp on there, but that's a really pretty little handmade um, amethyst choker necklace. I like that, that's pretty. Okay, let's move all of this to the side. I do remember when I did buy them that I received a lot of um single earrings like you don't usually find a lot of matched earrings so hopefully we can find a few matched ones um let me see if i can find a maker's mark on this i don't see any maker's marks but it is a pretty little black fashion ring is it missing stones no it's all there so it's a cute little um fashion i would say this is probably about a size eight and a half nine yeah, nine, even nine and a half. It's pretty. That's level. Okay, then we have a little collar, um, collar, bangle bracelet. Very pretty, very sparkly. Okay, we have a hair tie. We have a cute little heart ring, which is perfect for Valentine's Day. Um, if you're not following me on whatnot, what are you doing? Go and follow me on whatnot. Oh, this does have somewhere, but I might be able to clean it up. Um, I don't know. Cute little animal ring. Go and follow me on whatnot. I plan on doing a all like Valentine's Day um jewelry sale, like all Valentine's Day pinks, reds, hearts, florals. Um, I would like to do that. This is a clip on. This is super pretty. I hope we get the match to this. I don't see any names on it, but I love this earring. Hope we get the match. 
right there. We got some Stuffin and Co. clip-ons, which again, um, I am doing going to be doing a um all clip-on whatnot sale. So those will be good for that. Okay. I do like to do like themed shows. I like to do shows that um I don't know. I just like doing themed shows. I think it's fun. Okay, I might have to untangle some of this and then come back because I don't like. Okay. Maybe I can. Okay, I might try and fast forward this. That way I'm not stopping and pausing. All right, guys. Um, so I went ahead and untangled a few things. We still have this to untangle. Um, so a nice little pile to untangle still. But I went ahead and tangled a few things that were just kind of tricky to try and get undone. Um, and let's get started. First, we have this gold tone ring. It's not marked or anything, but it's a cute little just stacking ring. Cute. Next was this. Um, this is going to craft. This is like a teething necklace. So that's a craft. Um, we have a little lariat bracelet. This is happy in little gold tone letters. That's cute. We have a, oh, this is worn out. This is worn out. This has copper ring. That's craft. Um, this is pretty. This kind of gives Brighton vibes. This is branded. V-C-L-M. I am not aware of that brand, but this is a cute, like, little puffy heart little necklace. With all these little puffy heart charms on it. So that's cute. I like that. That one. Okay, next is this cool, this is like rice paper bean beads, beans. <laughs> This is like a really pretty, like almost Kelly green, almost, um, really pretty rice paper beads with a gold tone spacers. I like that. This is it tripled, but it's a really pretty green. I like that one a lot. It has like a glossy finish too. A lot of the rice paper beads have like a matte finish. This is a pretty glossy finish. I like that one. I like that one. Then we have this necklace that just is a like browns and yellows collar length oh unfortunately it does have some wear um but that one's kind of cool this will be a cool crafting piece for me though i can definitely use that pendant to craft with okay next piece is this little vintage rhinestone beauty um no marks um it's silver tone that's cool the chain does have some tarnish um so i'll try and just save the pendant i think off of that that's pretty I like that i like that okay this is rose quartz maybe pink glass i don't know but this is a faceted it kind of comes off more peachy in the camera but it is more of a light pink a very very pale light peachy pink um i don't see any inclusions in the glass so that's why i think or in the stone so that's why i think it's glass not rose quartz but it's still lovely i like the um like a really dark chocolatey brown thread i like that they use that instead of like a black or a you know white i think that looks good with the peachy pink so that's a pretty one i like that next we have a brooch it is a silver tone i think butterfly with pink rhinestones all across. Oh, that is marked. Fossil steel. It is marked fossil steel right there in that corner. So I'm not sure if that is fossil, like the jewelry and clothing brand, or if that is fossil steel, like a different brand. But yeah, I like that. It's a pretty one. All right, this, <laughs> this is kind of funny. 
this is, I love these beads. Um, these are mostly glass. Um, possibly even some natural stones, like, mixed in. But this is a really funny, with these big yellow pom-poms. Um, it does have, like, a little Y at the bottom. Let me try and untangle it. There we go. So it does have, like, this Y with a puffy heart that does have some copper coming through. Yeah, that heart, unfortunately, does have a, some wear to it. Um, but I love these beads. I... I love these beads. So cute little pom-pom. Kind of reminds me of like the natural life necklace, but again, it has pom-poms on it. Not sure what to do with that just because it does have, you know, the wear. Um, this looks like silver. Yes, we have our first piece of 925. Um, and this is a really pretty amethyst and peridot little necklace. Very short. Really short. It is peridot and amethyst with this little link. Like that. Really pretty. I like that one. That's cute. Good. I like that. That's perfect. We love silver. Um, another piece that was good is this one is Mart. Thailand. Joan Rivers. So this is a Joan Rivers, and if you don't know, Joan Rivers does pretty well. Her stuff is pretty collectible. And this is a really cool, very long gold disc, almost like washers, um, necklace. So really nice. It does have some scratches and, you know, normal wear, but hopefully I can clean this up and it'll be good as new. So awesome. We love Joan Rivers. Nice, nice. So, so far we got Joan Rivers and 925. I think so far we're we're doing pretty good. Oh, we have a bracelet over here. Oh, and we have a pair. Oh, we have a matching pair of earrings. Okay, let me get those. Okay, we have our first pair of earrings. We have these really pretty hoops that are a rose gold with clear rhinestones. Has lots of bling. So those are really pretty. Some blingy hoops. And then we have a bracelet that says, take time to enjoy every day. And it says a Virgo um, on there, a little charm. It's like a coppery color. So that's cool. Definitely sellable. Alrighty. Okay, now that was everything I untangled. So now we got to get back to untangling. I'm not gonna un I'm not gonna pause you guys unless it gets too bad. Um, this is a really cool one. Um, I think these are glass. Yeah, these are all glass beads. It's like an amber brown kind of color. Really pretty. I like that one. I like that. Skip that one. This is very tangled. Okay. Um. the rest off to the side oh i forgot to show this i untangled this earlier this is just a black ribbon if you know me i don't like selling cloth or ribbon stuff however these are all glass beads glass or quartz um so i might figure out i have to figure out what to do with this either clean it and sell it or take it apart and use the beads so you have that Okay. All right. So the next piece is this cool one. And I'm wondering if this is silver. I don't think it is because this is acrylic and they usually don't put the silver on acrylic, but you never know. Um, no, just fashion. Um, 
but this is like a pretty kind of reminds me of like Mardi Gras colors that's like purple gold um yeah I would call this like a Mardi Gras necklace it's pretty okay we have a ring that is very tarnished let's see it is marked nickel silver nickel silver i don't know what nickel silver is but this is neither silver or nickel i don't think i'll have to look into that interesting okay let's look at this one what does this say this says lane bryant this is a rose gold like tassel little choker collar length necklace we like we like lane bryant awesome awesome Take that. Okay, we have a little. This has some wear, so this will go into craft. Um, okay, we have another rose gold necklace. This one is not marked, but is a really pretty rose gold like snake chain, and it has like a knot, and it dangles down with these pretty little tassels. Ah, uh, there we go. Rose gold. I like that one. Just fashion, but it's pretty. Stuff like this is what I take to like style Encore, Closed Mentor, what I sell and whatnot. Um, this has major wear. This has major wear. This is craft. Little silver turn link necklace. We have like a little Hamza. Um, I don't know that brand. I'll have to Google it. A um, little keychain. Okay, next we have a little necklace. These are glass beads. It is clear AB and black. Really glittery and sparkly. Like that one. Look at that. Look at the sparkle on that. Wow. Pretty. This kind of gives Brighton vibes. It's not marked or branded, but definitely has that Brighton look to it. Um, no marks again. So it's a cute little fashion, but it definitely has that bright look. Okay, earrings. We have these rose gold hoops. So pretty. We have these little dingly hearts with a key. You look at them really quick, just make sure they're not like silver or anything. I don't see a silver mark. Just curious. So these little heart ring, uh, blah, blah, blah. we have those cute little heart earrings. Okay, next we have these that are new on the card. I think this matches that necklace. Yes, this goes with that necklace, the black and clear necklace. So I'm assuming it's that brand. So nice, I'll put that with the necklace. All right, and then these stunning earrings. I love these earrings. I'm going to have to use Google Lens on these. I, they kind of have like a uh, Avon kind of feel to them. They are really pretty. I love the antique gold brass. I love the AB rhinestone in the middle. And then all the other pretty glittery rhinestones. So yeah. So hopefully that can be, that's something good. Okay, and then what we've been waiting for is this really cool, like, natural stone necklace. It's a little loose. So it's all of these cool, pretty, natural stones to it. They're all cold, cold, cold to the touch. And this is the mark... I do not know this mark. So if any one of you guys know that, looks like an LM or a L cursive B. Is that cursive BM? Heart M? I don't even know, guys. I think that's an LM. LM is the maker's mark. And then it has this kind of nasty, not nasty, it's, it's in good condition. I just don't like selling, I just hate jewelry that has cloth on it um 
But yeah, these are really pretty. I love these natural stones. That's really nice. I love these stones. Okay. We still got more, guys. Okay, this is a cool one. This is a silver tone link with these pretty glass hearts and these cool glass flowers and then um, a little chain. So I like that. That's cool. That's fun. Let's do that one. These necklaces are always the death of me. <laughs> they are always the worst tangle knotters like ever. Because every single time you get one of these necklaces, there's chains wrapped around them. Every single time. Every single time. I'm going to have to do that off camera. And I think all of them are connected to that. Let's see what I can untangle that I untangled easily. Okay, I'm gonna have to pause you guys and let me let me show you what I got out of it easily and then I will pause. Okay, we have these cute, cute little lips with like little rhinestones. It is a rose gold. It is new without tags. It still has like the little sticker on the back of it. This is China. This gives me major, major Betsy Johnson vibes. I don't see a mark, but I'm not exactly sure how they would mark it because it's so tiny. Um, so I'm gonna have to Google lens that. That looks like Betsy Johnson. Um, then we have just a gold tone chain. The movie's pretty. It is a mix of glass and wooden. Really pretty greens and pinks and like a tan wood little long beaded necklace. So that is nice. Pretty. And then we got this necklace. It is, it is marked. It is a Premier Designs. So we have this gold tone. This actually looks like in excellent condition. It is in excellent condition. We have this matte silver or matte gold, I should say. Matte gold link. It is missing something right here, I think. Somehow got disconnected, but I can fix that. But yeah, matte gold tone, really nice. Like that one. Got some good branded pieces. I was I was hoping we would find a couple good pieces. Oh my gosh, I just found Snoopy guys. Come on. Oh, look how cute these little Snoopy earrings are. Look how cute. It's like little Snoopy with a hockey stick. Snoopy Cloisonne Jewelry by Avi Av Avia. Aviva don't know but it's super cute and I like them okay I want to pause you guys and untangle some of this I'll be right back all right guys I am back I had to pull out the scissors this took me way longer than I thought this is all trash these are some necklaces that I had to cut apart to get to things um this may be one of the worst goodwill tangles I've ever had <laughs> It was bad. Okay, but because of those tangles, we did get some really good things. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with what is closest to me. And the first thing I'm going to show is this um, very Brighton-esque. It's not March Brighton or anything, but it definitely has that Brighton vibe. It's antique silver tone with this, all of this enamel work. So that's really cool. Unbranded. But I do like that piece blingy that's a cool one um this is just another we got a lot of unbranded fashion we did get a lot of unbranded fashion but that is a-okay 
because a lot of it was sellable. So this is a double strand silver tone that comes into a Y with this gray stone and then it dangles. It's a Y necklace fashion. Um, this was a stunner. This is a stunner. This is 95. Why is my um this is a stunner guys okay um now we're back and i think maybe the lighting's a little bit better um you have to let me know but this is a really pretty 925 silver it is marked 925 on the clasp right there um just absolute stunner i love this piece absolutely love it love 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 um we got the matching bracelet to the earrings and necklace though the stretch on this is not very good we have a little fashion heart let's try craft um this is mart so this is a cute little heart with wings this is mart vclm again does anyone know what vclm is i will have to google that but it's a cute little heart with wings it's printed i'll take it and i'm sure you saw this you know laying up there that we have a chanel <laughs> obviously i do not know think this is real um it's missing a rhine it's missing two rhinestones um but yeah we have a little faux chanel ear um necklace cute little heart on it cute okay um next we have a little glass little necklace little red glass necklace we have these very large acrylic dingly hoops not hoops ding just dingles um this was pretty. This is Coldwater Creek. This was really nice. This is Coldwater Creek. It has these really pretty, like, AB iridescent red um, faceted, some are not, charm necklace. I love this one. This one is so pretty. Look at all that. That is, just, love that one. This one is a cold water, cold water Creek one. So we love that one. Okay. Okay. Um, next we have this little abalone um, butterfly. Not why this isn't focusing. So this little abalone um, butterfly on a silver tone chain. We have this unbranded. Oh, it does have a little bit of wear. Um, like beaded disc kind of necklace. Again, unbranded. And it does have a little bit of wear, so that's going to go to um, This is 925. We have an evil eye pendant. Really pretty. Um, and it is marked 925. No, no, it's not. It's marked 18K GF. So it's 18 karat gold filled. I lied. Okay, I lied, guys. This is 18 karat gold filled. I don't know if that will pick up. But it's 18 karat gold filled. So awesome. Awesome, awesome. Um, we have this unbranded, kind of still tangled little tassel necklace so that does have a little bit of wear i'll probably just go down for um bead. okay we have this this is like a um, one of those necklaces that you tie in the front there's no clasp there's no end it just kind of you just kind of like oop, you wear it lariat style open-ended no brand it kind of looks like a park lane almost to me but no works 
another unbranded fashion necklace, um, another unbranded fashion necklace, unbranded cuff bangle bracelets, a worn out um, wire wrap ring. We had this unbranded um, triple layer acrylic beaded necklace. This was really cute. I will try and clean this. We have a really cute little owl necklace. However, I don't know if you can see that, but there is like green verdigris all over it. So if I can clean that up, I will sell that. We have this really pretty, really, really pretty. I love the colors on this, um, like fringy bib necklace. And it has like the orangey and the purple and the pink just really pretty unbranded no makers marks on that but i just like the colors i just love those colors together um we have this little unbranded little laser cut wood pendant we have this unbranded little that's actually going to go in craft um this was branded this is a premier designs right here Premier Designs, and it is still very tangled. <laughs> um, but once I get that untangled, hopefully that will look nice. Um, and we have a little Premier, so that, little premier Designs, a little tassel layered necklace. I like that one. Um, we have a green glass necklace. I believe these are glass. Maybe some are acrylic and some are glass, maybe. So that one's really pretty. Um, we have a 925 chain. If it's 925, I don't think it is. I think it's just, I think it's lies. Hmm? Yeah. It's not real. It's not real. That's fake 925. Okay. Um, we have a silver tone layer necklace. And, oh, and this, this is the last one. This is a really cool, I like this one a lot, um, tassel necklace. This gives me Major J. Crew vibes, or Madewell. It is a brushed gold mat. It has this really cool, like, stone, and then it has this really fun little tassel. So, yeah. So, like this one. That's a cool one. And then this is our earrings. I think I already matched up the ones that we had matches to, but let's just do a quick look. This looks like Wayne Davis, but we don't have the match. Oh, this one does. Okay, we have a match of these. This does have quite a bit of wear though, so I don't, that will probably just go to craft. Um, let's just see. Oh, we have the match. This one again it has some wear, so those will go to craft. Ooh, this looks like silver. Yeah, it looks like silver. Those look like real stones. It is smart. 925 China. Come on. 925 China. So that is stunning. Love that. Okay, put that to the side. Um, unbranded, branded, this is a broken ring, hoop, 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 oh, that's a cool looking little star, hoop, hoop, hoop. kind of looks like if it's a silver look to it, let's see, no, oh, we have the match to these little hoops, and that is about it. Yes. Okay. So that was my box. Let me go ahead and pull out all the good pieces and then I'll be right back. All right, guys. Okay. So these are my favorite finds of the box. We got the natural stone um, necklace, which I loved. I love this one. So that was a good one. We got the Coldwater Creek necklace. We got the Joan Rivers necklace. We have the Premier Designs necklace. We have another Premier Designs necklace. 
we have the um, pair, um, amethyst that needs a new clasp on it. We have the 925 and amethyst in peridot. The 925 in string, maybe. The 925 single earring. The faux Chanel. The 18K gold filled. The fossil brooch. The um, really cute lip bracelet, which may be Betsy Johnson. And then the unbranded, um, like Brighton esque pendant. So that was my box. I'm super pumped about it. Um, I want to say another huge, huge showed, shout out to my friend Joanne. Thank you so much for sending me this box. You did not have to do that, and I appreciate that you did. <laughs> um, it saved me going out and buying one. So thank you, thank you. Let me know if you want me to open more of these. Like I said, I don't open these very often just because they're kind of expensive and they don't really get a lot. Um, this was back from, I think I said already, this box was from March of 2021. So this is, you know, almost two years old. That is why we got some nice sterling pieces. Just saying. But yeah, let me know if you want me to open more blue boxes in the future. Um, I might even do one maybe like once a month maybe or something. Um, so again, just let me know. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.